Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the exhaustion card over here and this is feeling very, very tired, very, very worn out. Uh, you know, you've dealt with a lot of problems, a lot of difficulties. You feel like you're on your last leg, really. Uh, this is the card of pure exhaustion. It's the Nine of Rods and, you know, having to deal with all these problems and still facing more problems to come. You might even be feeling ill as well, so there could be some, uh, you know, stress-related or work-related illness uh, that you're going through at the moment. You've got the conditioning card over here. So this is, you know, dealing with um, somebody that is still very, very manipulative, somebody who's giving you a lot of grief, or a problem that you're dealing with that is, uh, you know, it seems a bit overwhelming at this particular moment. It seems like with whichever way you turn, um, you can't seem to sort this particular problem out. It is something very, very, um, you know, um, controlling. It's, it's taking control of your life quite a bit, and you're very, very tired dealing with all these problems um, that you have been facing. And you're feeling very, very lonely, very, very isolated as well. You've got the ripeness card over here. So it looks like, uh, you know, things are about to um, come your way. It's it's almost like this is the last battle. You've got the last, uh, you know, the ending of the cycle of that moon over here. So you need to just be a little bit patient. Uh, it looks like things are about to turn around for you because it's you're just almost there. You're nearly there. Um, so it's just hanging in there and just having that last bit of courage, really, to get through this situation. You've got the integration card over here. So this is about temperance, and this is about using all your skills and knowledge uh, to get things sorted out. This is also about taking advice. So maybe you've been uh, taking a lot of advice from somebody in the past, and you've got, you know, you're also going through a phase of healing as and getting your balance back as well with that yin-yang. You've got the rebel card over here. So you might have been dealing with, uh, this is the emperor card really, so dealing with a very controlling person. Uh, this is uh, ruled by uh, Mars, as um, so it rules Scorpio or um, Aries, so that's the kind of person you might have been dealing with. They're very controlling, very, very manipulative. They don't allow you to express yourself at all. Uh, so that's the energy, it seems, that you're dealing with at the moment, or been dealing with. And maybe this is what has made you so exhausted, having to fight this person all this every step of the way, and this is what has made things very, very difficult. But you're almost there. You've got that brightness card over here, which is the nine of pentacles, just nearly about to harvest whatever you have been fighting or working towards. Now, you've got a decision coming up over here with the lover's card. So some kind of choice coming in for you there and a need for you to let go of a circumstance that is not serving you anymore. Uh, so walking away from something that is, uh, you know, draining you emotionally or uh, not allowing you to uh, progress as well. So you're going to have to make that decision with that love car lover's card about whether to stay in the situation or to move away from it. So those are the energies for that week. <coughs> I'm using the Anna K Tarot for the main read. bottom of the deck you've got the star and this is about having new hope having a new idea having a new desire to do something uh, and looking to the future so there's uh, some kind of um, guidance coming in for you somebody giving you some kind of uh, help some kind of support some kind of message coming in for you now when you get the star card it's also important for you to um, you know look into your dreams and decide um, you know whether you're getting messages through your dreams so keep a dream uh, journal as well so there's some important message coming in to guide you out of the circumstance now you've got the ten of rods so you can see very very exhausted over here very very tired feeling you know you've dealt with a lot of problems here you've also got that cloud so this appeared in the energy read so this is uh, what's going on with you you're feeling you know overburdened uh, you know, this is a lot of battles that you've been fighting. With the Ten of Rods, it, it's usually the end of that particular cycle. You've got the Queen of Swords over here. So you're cutting away all of that from your past. You're making a decision and you're moving on. You're taking a stand. 
Uh, this could be even a legal situation that you're dealing with. You finally had enough of it and you're cutting it out of your life. So some kind of decision also coming in for you there uh, on the legal front if uh, you are dealing with some kind of legal situation. But if you're not, then it's you determined and, and deciding to actually end the situation. So you are taking control of things. The um, Queen of Swords is, the, you know, the single woman of the, the deck. It's the divorcee of the deck, the person who is separating themselves from, um, you know, everybody else. So you are isolating yourself a little bit from everywhere, everywhere, everybody else. And this is because whatever's been going on has been so upsetting and has been so, um, you know, it's got you down on your knees. It's been disempowering for you, but you're taking back your power again with that Queen of Swords. So in the past, you've got the lover's card, so you could have been involved in some kind of relationship. Uh, you know, this could have been a love relationship that you were involved in. Maybe this is the one, you know, it's caused a lot of problems, and this is the reason why you're uh, cutting it out. You've got that six of rods, so there was a lot of problems within this relationship. But finally, you've actually taken control back, or you're taking control back of that situation, and you're moving on. If this is a, a work uh, decision, you, are, you know, and... Um, You've had some kind of choice that you had to make, and you've decided, um, you know, to move away from it. There's a lot of recognition coming in with this card, so there's a lot of victory and recognition coming in with it. But you're taking control, taking back your power again. There's some sort of, a sort of message that you received, or some kind of news that you got that allows you or gave you that, um, gave you the edge over everybody else, so that you win in this particular situation. And so that's happened in the last three months. So you've got the Knight of Cups over here. You know, you might be dealing with a water sign person, so this might be um, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces person, and uh, maybe they are the people, person that you're actually cutting ties with. Maybe they're the, they're the person that has given you all this, these problems, um, you know. On the other hand, you could also be, uh, you know, hoping for some kind of offer to come in on the romance front, uh, and you're thinking about this particular person. You're hoping that they make some kind of offer to you. So going into the future, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is about focusing on your work. This is also about, you know, undertaking some course of study. Whatever you're doing, you're learning as well on the job. So you're going to be very, very work-focused uh, and also learning as well, learning a lot of things on the job. Now, you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to ma be made. So you've got that uh, Queen of Swords over here talking about some legalities. That gives you victory. So the Justice card is showing that the decision will be made. And, uh, you know, it's probably going to go in your favor. Um, because uh, you've got that Queen of Swords being victorious, really, in that circumstance. You've got the uh, Temperance card of here, and this is almost walking away from things that are causing emotional upset, getting your balance back again, and that's what you're going for at the moment. Uh, you know. And this is also showing some kind of legal situation that's going to bring back balance into your life again, and healing from that particular circumstance. So uh, what's happening around you, there you are, uh, you know, it shows moving away from that particular person that has been giving you problems. And also, uh, and it looks like it was some kind of legal decision. Maybe you're waiting for that legal decision to come in. That will come in soon. And this is, you know, separating or uh, cutting ties with this person, particular, you know, completely. It's turning your back on them and walking away from it. So there's a judgment coming in here. You've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and uh, the Nine of Swords. So it looks like you feel like you've invested in this relationship uh, and it was it did not pay off for you. You've had some kind of financial loss as well uh, with the ending of this particular relationship. You put a lot of hard work and effort into it and there was no joy from it. There's, it's not produced anything. Um, you've got the Knight of Pentacles over here, so you might be waiting also with the Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of also waiting for the harvest. This might be also waiting for a, um, a legal um, financial settlement as well. And it looks like that will come to you if that's what you are waiting for. You are wishing for it. She's sitting out uh, on this wishing well. And it looks like whatever this legal settlement is going to be with this justice card over here, it's going to go in your favor. So you will get some kind of settlement, some, some kind of money coming in. You, you just have to be patient. Wait for it. It is coming in for you. You're still pretty much... Uh, uh, anxious, pretty anxious about whatever is going on, but if this is about to end right now, so predicting or expecting the worst case scenario, uh, but also this particular uh, legal situation is now coming to an end, and it looks like you will get a payoff from it as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot.
got the six of water over here. So this is about memories of the past and uh, issues surrounding children romanticizing the past. So you could be uh, dealing with, ch uh, you know, something to do with children as well in, um, you know, this, all of this uh, divorce or separation might involve children as well, uh, but this is also about thinking about the past a lot. This could also be an offer coming in for you as well with the Six of Waters. It could be a work offer coming in for you as well. You've got the Page of Fire over here, so news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your uh, originality and ingenuity. So it looks like there is some kind of offer that's going to be coming in. It might be somebody that you've worked with in the past. Um, there could even be some study in this new job that you're doing. And this is indicated as well with this uh, Eight of Pentacles, that whatever uh, this job that you're doing now is going to involve some further study. Now, you could all of this could be, you know, that you've been overworked and you're cutting ties with this old company or this old place that you're working with and starting something brand new. The Page of Fire is about, um, you know, also travel or moving on to do a job somewhere else. Um, but this is about, um, this Page of Fire is showing that, you know, there's news coming in and good news coming in as well. You've got the Knight of Water, so this is about uh, the need to balance your emotions and invitation to social events. So, um, you know, there could be somebody new entering your arena as the uh, Knight of Water, so there could be an offer that comes in. Maybe it's an offer for romance, it could even be an offer for study, uh, it could be an offer for a new job as well that's coming in. But something that gives you a lot of emotional fulfillment. This could also be somebody coming in to give you some kind of advice uh, or some kind of support coming in for you as well. So you've got this Knight of Cups appearing in twice, so maybe you are expecting or waiting for some kind of sweet offer to come in, and it looks like that is going to be coming in with that Knight of Cups in the Oracle read as well. So it's on your mind, and it looks like it might be coming in whatever this offer is, and it might be an offer for new work uh, or work a job somewhere else, and it looks like with that Six of Water, you know, you might have worked with this person before. Um, and uh, the offer comes in. So you are stressing out a little bit too much. Uh, try to relax um, and don't, um, you know, predict the worst case scenario. Um, think positively. That's very, very important with this Nine of Swords. Uh, try to de-stress. It looks like whatever this legal case is, you're going to get some kind of settlement, some kind of money coming in for you over there uh, with it. So you just have to be a bit patient and wait for it. It is coming your way. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.